Hong Kong's trams are getting a makeover. A group of six local comic artists are showcasing their work on the mode of transport synonymous with the southern Chinese city. They were selected by the Hong Kong Art Centre as part of a celebration of local comic art. Kenneth Chan, nicknamed Big Soil, is one of them. He hopes his drawings, which were designed to line the car's interiors, will make commuters' rides just a little bit extra special. For us as local artists, to be able to produce art for the tram makes us very happy and proud. Most people think it makes sense to showcase artwork on the exterior, but placing it on the inside connects art with commuters. The moment you step onto a tram, you enter an exhibition space. It brings a breath of fresh air to the daily commute and draws local art together with a mode of transport tied intricately to life in Hong Kong. Hong Kong Tramways has long been a supporter of the city's art scene. It's provided a platform for many local artists in the past, but this is the first time work is being exhibited on the outside rather than just the inside of the trams. Tram is one of the landmarks of the city and we are very happy to work with those talentful, very creative artists. We don't need to go in other foreign countries to find them. We have them here in the city. Once considered a cultural desert, Hong Kong has emerged as a major player in the global art market in recent years. The city now has more than 90 galleries, up from around just 10 in the year 2000. It's also the world's largest art market by auction and has attracted a rush of international art fairs, including Art Basel as well as Art Central. But while it's flourished as a hub for established artists from around the world, along with buyers looking to invest in collectible works, local artists have largely been overlooked. Being an artist in Hong Kong is very difficult. This city is really finance orientated. Exposure is great for us, but it's hard if there are no opportunities. That is a lot of artists, uh, they cannot be full-time artists because um, Despite the, uh, the art market in Hong Kong is very vibrant, but they're not necessary uh, can really benefit the local artists. Finding a space to exhibit their works is another challenge. Renting out a gallery is way out of the reach of most local artists. But by providing a platform for them to show their talents, the Tram Initiative not only promotes local culture, it also adds an extra splash of colour to the city. Pak Yu in Hong Kong for TRT World.